So let me ask you something different that I didn't announce previously. Our students always love when we kind of make sense out of it, that it's straightforward, it's clear, it, 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 it's linear. Yeah. But that's not what it is. It, no. it is. As you say, it's complex. It, oftentimes you look at this and two sentences, you have two completely different ideologies or statements made and it just doesn't make sense. It's confusing as crazy. How do we communicate that to students, to the public, that it is not as pretty and straightforward as they want it to be? Yeah, I think that's in particular an interesting question with the Civil War, which mm -hmm. of course looms large in the American culture and memory as this brother versus brother war, kind of the ultimate domestic event. It's, you know, very romantic with a capital R and it's about bravery and courage and really all of the complexity and issues tend to be glossed over in that popular memory. So I think anything we can do to kind of draw attention to the reality that yes, it was brother versus brother, north north versus south, but let's talk about what they were fighting about. Let's talk about the issues behind this. You know, as my book demonstrates at the time, people involved in the conflict did not see this as a localized domestic conflict about vague notions of bravery. They saw this as part of a larger international struggle over forms of nationhood, an international debate about what government and nationhood meant. And both North and South saw themselves as having something important to say to that conversation. And so I think my work helps complicate that story. When I'm working with students, one of the things that I try to do to help them understand the complexities and understand the causes behind that bravery they're familiar with is, you know, I think as many history instructors do, go to the primary sources. Mm -hmm. The ordinances of secession are really undeniable in what they're discussing, for example. And, you know, they make it clear that this is about bigger issues and those bigger issues boil down to interpretations of slavery. So I think for me, it's a matter of really kind of meeting people where they are and recognizing, you know, okay, here's this understanding that society has of the Civil War. Now let's complicate it. Let's mm -hmm. pull the curtain back and let's particularly use these primary source documents to understand what got us to that battlefield where brother versus brother bravely rushed across the battlefield at each other. Which always then also adds, like when you bring in the Hungarian Declaration of Independence, long, convoluted, but certainly a lot of similarity what, to what the Southerners were saying as well. 